Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be filming a what I got for my birthday for 2019. I turned 25 on the 28th of June, which, oh my god, it's, just, it's too much to even comprehend. I'm 25 now. And I thought that I would show you guys what I got for my birthday. I had a really lovely birthday week. I say week because I'm one of these people who likes to make a week out of my birthday and take a whole week or two off work and basically celebrate on each and every day of the birthday week. And that's exactly what I did. I went to the theatre a couple of times. I saw friends. I went on some day trips, I went to the London Aquarium, I went shopping, I had brunch, I did all that great stuff and I've had a lovely, lovely week and I've really got some lovely things to show you. I was very spoilt during my birthday. I also just want to apologise in advance if I do sound at all croaky or a little bit nasally or congested throughout this video. I have got a little bit of a cold which I was very kindly given as a present from my dad, an early birthday present, so I have been kind of contending with that. And as ever with these kind of videos, I feel like I make this disclaimer every single year, but I like filming these videos because I like to watch them myself and I also like to film them because I think it's a nice way of showing gratitude to the people who have given you the gifts as well. So that's why I like filming these videos. It's not bragging, it's just something I like to film. You guys like watching them and I like to show appreciation to people who have been so generous to me. But before I get any further, I'd like to say that if you enjoy my channel and you would like to watch more of my content, be sure that you hit the subscribe button and also be sure that you click that notification bell so that you don't miss updates when I post new videos. So without further ado, let me show you what I got for my birthday for 2019. Now this is a bit weird, but I'm actually gonna start off by showing you a few freebies that I got for my birthday. So one of the things I wanted to show you first was something I got from Hotel Chocolat. So basically, if you don't know, with Hotel Chocolat, if you sign up to their VIP club card, you get a five pound voucher to use on your birthday. So I got these, these are the milk chocolate hazelnuts. So they're basically like a caramelized hazelnut and they are covered with milk chocolate and they are the nicest freaking chocolates in the entire world. They're like six pounds to buy so I hardly ever get these for myself. This is like a luxury for me, but I had the five pounds to use so I was like, I don't mind spending a pound on these. So I got these and I haven't actually opened these yet which is such, a show of self-restraint because I love these but now that I've shown them to you you best believe these are getting eaten tonight. Next freebie that I got was something from Paper Chase. Now with Paper Chase again if you sign up to their Paper Chase card you get a £5 voucher to spend on your birthday and I got myself a new diary so I don't actually have like a little handbag size travel diary and I'm one of these people although I do put things on my phone I like to write things down in a diary I'm quite old-fashioned like that. So I got this one and it's the 2019 to 2020 planner it's quite a small size it's an a6 size diary and it's got this lovely print of botanical flowers and bumblebees and butterflies and you know i love bumblebees i love butterflies i love anything botanical as you probably guessed by the display behind me and then the last freebie i have to show you today is from the body shop now with the body shop if you sign up to their love your body membership card you get five pounds to spend on your birthday. So I got myself a new body yogurt in the scent ginger. Now, I was dubious about this when I first went to smell it. And when I smelled it, I was like, oh my gosh, that smells amazing. It literally smells like a cocktail, like a really nice cocktail. It's got such a nice scent to it. And I love these. I've used these in the past. They're really nice products and they make my skin feel amazing. And now I'm actually gonna get on into what people actually bought me for my birthday. So first of all, I'm gonna show you what my friend Rochelle bought me for my birthday. Me and Rochelle went out to see the Merry Wives of Windsor at the Shakespeare Globe. Oh my gosh, if you've never been to the Shakespeare Globe and you live in London, definitely go because it's a beautiful open air theater a really wonderful piece of history that's been kept in London and it's wonderful to see and it's definitely an experience that everyone needs to do at least once in a lifetime. First thing I have to show you that Rochelle got me is a candle. It's a bit of a theme with me and Rochelle. We always buy each other candles for birthdays and Christmases and she got me this one from the brand Mocktails and it's the strawberry daiquiri flavoured scented candle. Now I've actually tried some of these from this brand before and they're really nice. I think I've had the Bellini and the Raspberry one, never this one but it smells really good. It just smells really sweet and delicious and just yummy. I love strawberry daiquiris. It's one of my favorite cocktails and she knew that so she got me that to basically pay tribute to the fact that she knows me so well. It just smells really good. So she got me that which I thought was lovely. 
and then she also got me this really beautiful locket now I don't know if you can see it in detail and it's a little book and it says Victorian fairy tales on it and there's a little fairy charm hanging from the chain and it's just so so cute and she knows me so well she knows that I love fairy tales and then there's a little bit where you can put a picture in so I'm going to try and find a picture to put in that but I just thought that was so thoughtful and so lovely and it's such a cute little necklace now I'm going to show you guys what my friend Steph bought me now Steph is one of my old uni friends and she took great delight out of teasing me that I am now a quarter of a century old and halfway to 50 so thank you very much for that Steph alongside the presents thank you for that the first thing she got me was some chocolates because she knows me very well these are from M&S and they are the Belgian cocoa dusted chocolate truffles I've actually already opened these and eaten one or two they are really delicious so thank you very much Steph but then she surprised me with something else she had bought me something from Mac now this is from the Aladdin range that MAC did. Now I actually haven't been into MAC in years. So it's the Princess Jasmine palette and inside you've got nine really beautiful shades. So there's quite a lot of iridescent glittery shades in this palette. I absolutely love this sort of blue and pink like prismatic duochrome shade here. It's really beautiful. It's just such a stunning palette. And I just love the iridescence of these shades. I think they're absolutely beautiful. And I was just so surprised that she got that for me because I was not expecting that. And it's such a beautiful palette. And Steph does know me very well. And she knows that I love my makeup and my glitter. So thank you so much, Steph. Sticking with the theme of MAC, actually, my friend Alex Eads, who I've mentioned quite a few times on this channel, she's basically a friend of the family. She is the mum to my friend Charlotte Eads, who passed away from brain cancer a few years ago. And we keep in contact and we send each other cards and presents at Christmas and birthdays and things and she sent me a lovely lovely card and she also sent me a voucher to shop in MAC and like I said I hadn't actually been in MAC for a while. The first thing I got from MAC is a new lip liner in the shade Dervish. Now I wanted to get a new lip liner just because I haven't bought any in ages and it's something that I tend to use quite a lot and it's like a nice peachy nude pink shade if you can see that. It's got like a bit of a rose undertone to it but I thought that would look really nice on my lips and the MAC consultant who was actually very helpful picked that out for me and I think it's a really nice shade for the summertime. and then I also bought a new lip gloss in the shade Lychee Love which is a really interesting colour it's like a corally bright colour it's not usually the colour that I would go for but it actually looks really really pretty let me just swatch that so I can show you so that's what it looks like. It's definitely like a more brighter corally shade than I would tend to wear, but I think it looks really nice on the lips and it's a nice shade for the summertime. That's what I got from MAC with the voucher that Alex gave me. Thank you so much for that, Alex. That was so kind of you and so incredibly thoughtful. I'll also leave the link down below to the charity that Alex has set up for Charlotte's Memory to raise money for research into cures for brain cancer and I'll also leave the link down below to a current walking fundraiser that they are doing to raise money for the charity as well if you'd like to go and support them in that way and now I'm going to move on to what my auntie Charlotte got me so my auntie Charlotte took me out for a day we went to the London Aquarium and then we also had dinner in the evening which was very nice and she got me a few things the first thing she got me was some sweets these are a packet of fizzy strawberries and it's got the Mr. Strong character on the front. And then she also got me a few things from Kath Kidston. So she got me a new travel keep cup because my dad has basically lost the top to my old one. I no longer have a keep cup to use and that really hurts my soul because I don't like wasting packaging and without a keep cup I can't have hot drinks. So she got me this new one and I love it. It's a really lovely pattern. It's like a London pattern so it's got all the various London landmarks on there like London Eye, Big Ben, Buckingham Palace, St Paul's Cathedral and I absolutely love it. I really think it's a lovely design and what I love more about it is this with this keep cup there's a little top on there that snaps over it so that you basically don't spill yourself with scalding hot tea or whatever you might be drinking so I thought that was really really nice of her and I'm 
so grateful to have a new one and I actually like it better than my old one. And then she also got me a key ring from Cass Kidston and it's so cute. It's got a little cavalier on it. I have a cavalier King Charles Spaniel called Freddy and she got this for me just because she thought it was so cute and it actually does really look like Freddy. It's the Blenheim colour which is what my dog is and I absolutely adore it. I think it's so cute. Now on to what my grandparents got me. So my grandparents gave me some money and I was originally just going to put it in my bank and just save it but then they had a really good sale on in at H&M and I went there and had a little look and I actually found a dress that I really really liked. So this is what it looks like. It's a blue and white striped tunic dress and it's got little white tassels on it and it's like a really nice cool like a linen material almost and it just feels so nice on i really love the color i love blue and i just thought that was so nice to wear for the summertime so i ended up getting that with the money that they gave me and then my nan on my dad's side also gave me some money and i decided to treat myself with the money she gave me to something from rituals and lo and behold they actually did have a sale on which i was really happy about and i decided to get myself this gift from the Deo range. Now this was, I think it was 50 pounds originally, but it had been reduced to 29 pounds, which I thought was really good value considering what you get inside. Inside of this gift set, you get a shower gel, you get a small scrub and body lotion, and then you also get a hand wash. And that was basically everything that I needed. And I was like, great, you know what? I'm gonna buy that. I love the scent. It's a really nice, clean, fresh scent. It's my favorite range from the Rituals whole line. So I was like, that's a great little gift. So that's what I'm gonna buy myself. So that is what I ended up getting with the money that my nan gave me and I have no regrets. Now I'm gonna move on into what my parents got me for my birthday. Although I say parents, but as ever, my mum's always the one who goes out and picks all of this. So parents slash my mum. So I'm actually just going to show you one of my largest presents that I've got first because it's just sitting here next to me. I have wanted to get a new foot spa for ages because I used to have one years ago and it was really old and dilapidated and my dad threw it out so I really wanted to get myself a new one so mum got me one for my birthday and this is it. It's absolutely huge. It's basically like a deluxe foot spa with all these different settings on it and these roller bits and water heating uh, and like a um, therapy diffuser so this is definitely a lot more fancy than my old one because my old one didn't have a water heater or any of these different settings or the foot rubbing section on it or anything like that so this is going to be a lot more fancier and i'm going to enjoy playing around with this and actually giving myself a little bit of a pedicure my mum also got me a new pair of pajamas for my birthday but not just any pajamas oh no 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 these are fancy pajamas these are from kath kidston and I've never actually owned a pair of Kath Kidston pajamas in my life. It's just always been a bit too bougie for me. I've always just gone with Primark pajamas. And my mum got me these ones, which have this really lovely botanical flower print in different colours of blue, pink, yellow, and like a lilac colour. And I just absolutely love these. I think they're just so, so pretty. And they just feel so soft. So I was so chuffed to get these because I actually do love this print and I've been admiring it for ages. So she got me the pyjamas for myself, which I was really, really shocked at. So thank you so much, Mum. I definitely wasn't expecting that. My mum also got me a cushion for my bed. Now, she actually got me some really nice Sophie Allport B print bedding, but I can't show you that because it's actually on my bed at the moment. But it's like a lovely grey colour with little bumblebees on there because, as you know, I'm obsessed with bees. And she got me a cushion to match and it has this really lovely bumblebee on it. Really nice design and it just looks so pretty and it has this nice grey edging on it as well but it's just so cute and it looks really nice on my bed. My mum also got me this really cute, really pretty, quirky little tea light holder from a designer come artist called Dear Emma. Now she makes a lot of embroidery things like brooches and tea light holders and embroidered pictures really talented and some really lovely products and she got me this tea light holder now i actually had bought one of these for my mum for her birthday but it was a wild meadow design and she got me this one because she'd seen me looking at it and i'm not too sure what this design's called i think it's called like ice cream street or sunday street something like that and it's basically a street of all these 
little townhouses lined up and it's a summer scene so you've got this little kite flying above you've got little cars parked in the streets you've got a little ice cream van which is what i'm about the houses are in different colors like pink and blue and white and like terracotta and it's really 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 cute i absolutely love it there's so much detail in this and you basically put a fake tea light in this you don't put a real one in there but it's just so lovely and I absolutely love the design and it's very me. My mum also got me something from Yoshi for my birthday. She got me a new purse. Now I had actually said that I wanted this for my birthday so I knew I was getting it and it's this really cute blue wallet with little bumblebees and daisies on it. Again the bumblebee theme. I love the colour and I actually wear a lot of this colour and I have a bag in the same colour. I thought this would be really nice to match it. But it's got a lot of space in there for all your cards and things like that and your money. And I just absolutely love it. I think it's so nice. I love Yoshi. I've got a couple of their bags already. And it's just nice to have a new purse because I haven't actually had a new purse in a while. So I was just really pleased with that. And I just think it's such a cute design. So thank you very much, Mum. My mum also got me a new book from Usborne. Now, some of you might know I actually do collect the Usborne illustrated books. I've already got quite a large collection of them and I really love them. They are meant for kids, but I don't really care because I just think kids' books have the most beautiful illustrations. It's an illustrated non-fiction book about the woods and like wildlife in the woods and botany and kind of seasonal changes that you find in the woods and it's just absolutely stunning it's just got some really beautiful illustrations in there about the wildlife and about the plants you find and i'm actually going to read this because i think it's just so lovely and it's just got some of the most beautiful illustrations in there so i was really happy to get that because i actually had seen this and i've been admiring it so she got me that for my birthday as well my parents also got me some new jewelry for my birthday the first thing my mum got me is a necklace and it's got this really beautiful dainty little old-fashioned Victorian looking key on it now there's a reason that she actually got this for me I have a necklace that I bought myself quite a few months ago and it's an old-fashioned looking bronze gate and it looks like something you would have found in the secret garden and I had said I really wanted to get a smaller necklace that, that has a little key on it to go with it for the theme you know the gate and the key and I've been looking for one for a while and I hadn't seen any that I liked and she found this one and she bought this for me to go with my necklace so that's why she got that because she knew I'd been looking for one for ages which I was really surprised about it's really really beautiful and I just love how delicate but detailed it is so I thought that was so lovely and then to go with this kind of whole floral gardeny nature theme that she seems to have done this year she got me a necklace from the brand called eclectic eccentricity now I actually have a few things from there already and I love their jewelry it's really quirky but very detailed and she got me this necklace so it's a little forget-me-not blue flower that has been pressed into this round piece of glass and it's on this gold chain with this gold frame around the glass it's like a flower glass pendant but I love pressed flowers and I love blue so she got me this one and I just think it's so so pretty and really dainty and it's just my sort of thing so she got me that and then the last two things I have to show you for jewellery are both from Bill Skinner my mum actually got me a new cuff to go with a ring and a necklace that I already have from there and it's this it's from the Queen Bee range and it's a cuff that's been made to look like honeycomb and then there's a massive bee sitting on the cuff but it's just so lovely and it just looks amazing on I just absolutely love the design of this and I already have the ring that goes with it and also the necklace so it's kind of like to match that but it's just so beautiful and really eye-catching and like I said bees are my thing so I've got a bit of an obsession with bees so I was really happy to have that because I actually did want to get this so she bought that for me and then the other thing from Bill Skinner is something that my dad did actually go out and buy and pick for me which I was quite shocked about so this is what it looks like it's a gold necklace with the letter E and it has this detailing of a little bumblebee and flowers on it Bill Skinner does a range of letter initial 
necklaces and I had wanted this for a while so he bought this for me and it's got a little bumblebee on it as well and it's very dainty and delicate. From just looking at the pile of things that I've got from my parents just next to me right now I completely forgot that they had given me another piece of jewelry for my birthday so I'm just going to quickly show you them. So it's this pair of earrings. Not too sure where they're from. They are 18 karat gold plated and they are little dangly earrings with bumblebees on them. Again because the bumblebee theme is still going strong this year and they're just really really cute. I love them. I love how dainty they are but they've still got quite a lot of detail in them and I like really small dangly earrings. Again thank you very much for that mum and I was really happy about those. Now I've got quite a few scented candles to show you because my mum always gets me so many scented candles on my birthday which I'm not complaining about because I love scented candles so any opportunity to get more scented candles into my collection is fine by me. Now the first candle she got me came as quite a surprise to me it's from the brand called Scandinavish. I'm not entirely sure if I'm pronouncing that right so I'm really sorry if I'm not but it's the Haig scented candle. Again, I never know if I'm pronouncing that right, if it's Haig or Haig. So I'm really sorry if I've not pronounced that right, I do apologise. And it's the big version. Now, I've actually had this in the really small one for Christmas last year and I loved it. I absolutely loved it and I really, really loved the scent. My mum knew this and she went out and got me the big one because she knew that I was committed to this candle and I wanted a big one. Oh my god, it just smells amazing. It basically smells like really clean, fresh laundry. It just smells like really freshly laundered towels and linen. It just smells really good and I'm just so happy to have the big one because it just makes my room smell incredible. She also got me a candle from Cow Shed and this is in the Knackered Cow fragrance. Now if you've never tried Cow Shed they basically have different names. You've got Knackered Cow, Grumpy Cow, I think Tired Cow. So they're all different kind of scents. Knackered Cow has got lavender and eucalyptus oil in there which is amazing i really love the scent of this one i've had it before and she got me a big one because she knew i really liked the scent and actually whilst we're on the subject of cow shed she put something in my card which i was really shocked about and it's a voucher to go and have a spa treatment in one of the cow shed spas Oh my god, I, I'm so excited. I'm going to book this soon and I might go to either the one in Primrose Hill or the one in Shoreditch House. Not too sure yet, but never had any treatments done by Cowshed. I've wanted to for ages, so I'm going to have a little spa treatment soon, which I'm really excited about. And I will also try and review it for you as well. She also got me one of my other favourite scented candles from the brand True Grace. This is the Cucumber Scented Candle, which I always get in the summer times because, as the name would imply, it smells like freshly cut cucumber and it's the most amazing smell ever. It just smells amazing, trust me. Now lastly for scented candles, I also wanted to show you a few things that my mum got me from a brand called the Botanical Candle Company. I haven't actually tried anything from them before but my mum has got quite a few candles from them already. She loves them, she thinks they're amazing and I really wanted to try some myself. She got me a large candle and this is in the scent Cutting Garden and this scent to me it smells like a mixture between cut grass and pruned roses that have basically been out in the sun all day so you get that really wonderful fragrant smell of the flowers that's the only way i can describe it it smells delightful and i absolutely love it and the packaging is just very rustic and then the other thing she got me was a bag of their tea lights to try now i think how it works with this company is you can opt to get like a one-off or like a monthly subscription box where you get to pick different fragrances that you try and she picked out some ones that she thought that I might like. I think how it works is you get a variety of different sachets of tea lights and there's six in them each that you can try. So in this bag she has chosen me Orange Blossom, love Orange Blossom, Darjeeling and Tea Rose, Lavender and Pettigrain, Sandalwood and Rose Geranium and then they also threw in a little extra sample of the the Jeeling and rose tea in there as well. So I just thought that was absolutely lovely and it will just be nice for me to just try lots of different scents and just to see what I like. My parents slash mum 
Also got me a few new pieces of clothing for my birthday. The first thing she got me was something I actually picked out myself that I wanted and it's a mustard coloured off the shoulder dress with a floral pattern in colours of white, blue and like a dark pinkish red colour. I'll insert a picture of me wearing it now because I actually did wear it on my birthday and I just think it looks so lovely. I love the colour. I love the design. I think it's so flattering. Nice for summertime. I also got this dress from Bowdoin for my birthday and it's basically like a lovely fitted mustard yellow coloured dress with a little bow on the front. It's in like this lovely linen material which is a dream for the summer. Linen is just like your best friend when it's hot. So I love that. I think it looks so, so nice. The last piece of clothing that my mum bought me for my birthday is again from Bowdoin and it's this white loose fitted dress with cap sleeves it's like a jersey dress i guess you would call it and it has this like woven multi-colored pattern to the neckline and the sleeves and also the hem it's a lovely material it looks nice on and it's great for the summertime so i was really happy about that so those are the clothing items that my mum bought me for my birthday. I do apologise if the position of the camera has changed at all. I had to get up and change the batteries over because my other one was out of charge. But anyway, so on to the last part of this video. I wanted to show you a few things that my parents got me that are beauty related. My mum also got me two of my all time favourite sheet masks from Origins. They are from the Flower Fusion range and it's the Lavender Sheet Mask. I have two of these because they are my absolute favourite sheet masks ever. I love how cooling and comforting they are on the skin, they're just the best thing ever. But they're like £5 each so I never ever ever buy this sort of thing for myself really unless I really feel like I need it. My mum also got me two things from Pixie. I have wanted to try a few things from the Milky range for a while now. So she got me two things that I picked. I got the Hydrating Milky Mist which has got hyaluronic acid and black oats in it and it just sounds absolutely amazing i haven't tried this one before i've tried lots of the other pixie mists and they're really nice so i'm excited to try that and then the other thing i wanted to try from the milky range from pixie is their hydrating milky cleanser which has got coconut and probiotics in it which sounds really nice I haven't tried anything from this range before so I'm really excited to try it out and see how I get on with it. So that's what I got for skincare related things. My mum also got me a couple of things from Fenty Beauty. There's been so much hype about Fenty over the last couple of years and I've just never ever tried anything from it before which is terrible. But I have two things from there. The first thing is one of their Gloss Bomb universal lip illuminators and it's in the shade fenty glow this is like the most famous one that they do and it's basically like a really nice gloss that you can put over the top of a lipstick or a lip liner to kind of emphasize your lips this is what it looks like but it's just so nice actually i'll put this on over the top of my liquid lipstick because it's a similar color it just smells so good oh my god but it just looks absolutely amazing on. It smells delicious. I can see why it's been hyped about because it's a lovely product and it's been sold out for a while now. My mum said she had real trouble trying to get it because it kept selling out. And then the other thing she got me from Fenty is one of the Kilowatt Duo highlighters, which I've heard a lot of good things about. And this is the one which has the shade Mean Money and Hustler Baby. So Mean Money is this one on this side. Hustler Baby is the more iridescent glittery one. Now the way this works is you've got one side which is a more softer subtle highlighter with a bit of glow to it and then the other one is more like your popping show stopping like really glittery iridescent highlighter. This just looks so lovely and I've heard a lot of good things about these highlighters so I was like you know what that's what I want for my birthday I want a new highlighter. So that's what my mum got me from Fenty Beauty. So the next beauty related thing I got for my birthday for my parents is something from Illamasqua. Now I actually had picked this out myself because I really wanted it. I'd seen it on Instagram quite a lot and it looked really nice. And it's one of their iconic chrome eyeshadow pigments in the shade Mesmerize. This is what it looks like. It's basically like a pressed glitter pigment and it's a really eye-catching amber peachy shade. So let me swatch it so you can see what it looks like. Oh, oh yeah, look at that, oh my god. 
that looks so so nice it's like a really iridescent shade and because it's like a pressed pigment it's really 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 highly pigmented now some of you who know me are probably watching this and thinking emily's not shown anything from charlotte tilbury yet is there anything from charlotte tilbury in this video and the answer is yes there is I mean, did you seriously think that you would get away with a video like this where you wouldn't have to see something from Charlotte Tilbury? That's never going to happen, folks. So conveniently, Charlotte Tilbury released in June a gorgeous collection of hot lips lipstick. What she's done is she's brought out a collection of lipstick cases in different designs and lipstick refills. So it's her first ever collection of reusable lipstick cases with changeable refills which i think is fantastic it's such a cool idea and the one i decided to go for is in the shade karina star but look at the packaging it's a constellation night sky it is beautiful look at it it's like a black color with gold stars and moons on it and it's just the most satisfying thing i've ever laid eyes on it's beautiful I love you, particularly because you're refillable and I never have to throw you away. The shade I ended up going for is called Karina Star, which is a really beautiful peachy pink shade. It's a bit more brighter in terms of a peach than I'm used to wearing, but it's a really lovely shade. Looks amazing on. I'm not gonna swatch it because I don't wanna ruin it because I want to take Instagram pictures of it, but I will do it on my Instagram, which you should follow me by the way. I am Fashionista 2012. I'll leave it linked down below if you'd like to go and follow me. So I got that because I was in love with the packaging and I'm so happy that mum actually managed to get me one. Now the final thing I have to show you for this, what I got from my birthday video, kind of happened by luck. The reason I say this is because my mum gave me three scratch cards in my birthday card. Scratch the first, I won 10 pounds. Scratch the second, another £10. Scratch the third, I won £20. I decided to go out and buy myself a little something special. And I got something from Jo Malone. And the thing that I ended up getting with my lottery winnings from Jo Malone is a hair mist. Now, I never thought I'd be the sort of person who would go out and buy a hair mist. So I ended up buying the hair mist in the fragrance Orange Blossom. Jo Malone brought out a couple of hair mists in different fragrances. There was Orange Blossom and I think the other one was Star Magnolia. But I love Orange Blossom. It's one of my favourite scents that they do. And it's made with argan oil, so it's a lot more moisturising and conditioning for the hair. And it just makes your hair smell like that scent. I'm going to demonstrate now. Oh my god, it just smells so good. So that concludes my what I got for my birthday for 2019. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Thank you to everyone who gave me the lovely gift and for making my birthday special. And also thank you to everyone who wished me on social media a happy birthday. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys!